Okay, this is Joe Whitchurch. We're going live with Free and Three. And I'm at one of my favorite hangouts, Faith West. And the, uh, it's kind of a lounge area here. A lot of people are playing cards this cold January day. And I've got three reflections on the month of January as we look forward to it, other than the cold. Uh, the first is January is the month that we remember a religious freedom day. I think that's on January 16th. It's interesting if you go to the webpage for religious freedom day that it talks about uh, past presidents encouraging us to celebrate in our homes and in our places of worship and in schools and we look at the schools and it looks like religious schools. Actually, uh, freedom of religion is uh, anti the wall of separating the church out of the state. It's very pro the free exercise of such. So I appreciated hearing a while back that our vice president and president have been uh, taking to praying. I think we could use a lot more prayer in our nation. Another thing that we remember in January is Martin, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, a great day when actually you can in the public square, even in public universities, believe it or not, Preach the gospel of Jesus Christ just by quoting the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. and some of his quotes and his uh, convictions about the nature of the reality, the good news of the gospel, um, hope for racial reconciliation, racial justice, and it's grounded in the person work of Jesus Christ. Hey, sorry, my knee is kind of wobbling the video here today, but uh, it's something to look forward to and to participate in. Uh, with people of different ethnic backgrounds that will actually help. And I think it will encourage your hearts as well. Uh, third thing in January to look forward to is a celebration of the question of what does it mean to be human? Do we have significance as human beings? And this brings to kind of to mind the cold day of Roe v. Wade's infamous anniversary on January 22nd. So, um, Seems like the tide is turning on that. Both Roe and Wade became pro-life. Norma McCorvey was the famous Roe that was used to give us this bad law. And Bernard Nathanson was one of the lawyers used to give us this bad law. And um, both became pro-life and acted in a pro-life cause before they, they uh, died. But uh, the good news is people's attitudes are changing. And people are wanting to know, what does it mean to be in the image of God? What does it mean to be a human being? The movie Wonder is a good sign in this regard. So there's a lot of good things to be thinking about in the month of January and get ahead of the curve on. There's a being proactive with your social media and your conversations, a framing of questions to people that help, might help them to think about the importance of what it means to be a human being. And um, we really are made to image God to have relationships, to be re rational beings, volitional beings, emotional beings, interpersonal beings that have a, a God concept, inescapable moral notions, and understanding of exercise and dominion, that we annotate our thoughts and ideas about reality, about uh, all the academic disciplines, and that we always want to look for transcendence. These things are all very good things to be musing upon in the month of January and sharing with people who need to know that they're more than just a combination value of their material parts as per the periodic table, more than just their affinity group of yes people saying, oh, you're really a good person. And they really are meant to reflect the glory of God and to have a personal relationship with God who brings dignity to their life and to other people as they share and ask these questions. So I hope you'll get free in three through the Trinitarian God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the good news of the gospel of Jesus Christ this January. And it would warm your heart and cause you to be light and salt in the public square at such a time as this.